Hello and welcome to Model Train Fun. Today we are going to look at this uh, wireless receiver box from Macklin. So this is Macklin uh, 60117. And what can we use that for? Well, basically when you got a traditional uh, mobile station, it comes with a wire, you can plug it into something. If you have the wireless mobile station, there is no wire, so you cannot plug it into uh, your Macklin uh, devices. That's where this one comes in, the, uh, the wireless receiver box or the VLAN receiver box. You basically uh, take and connect your wireless mobile station to your wireless receiver box, and that's of course wirelessly. And then on the receiver box, there's a plug. You can connect it in where you normally would uh, any uh, standard uh, mobile station. So if you had the mobile station too, you can connect it to the uh, uh, control box for your layout, so you can just use the mobile station too by itself. With this one here, you can also connect the uh, wireless mobile station as well. Uh, you can also connect this one to your central station tree, where you would normally uh, connect your mobile station uh, to, and in that way connect it directly to that. So actually a very, very handy device to be able to connect your wireless mobile station directly to the layout or directly to your central station tree without use of a Wi-Fi network uh, in the house. Uh, the final thing I need to uh, remember uh, to say is that uh, the wireless uh, receiver box here, you can connect up to four wireless mobile stations to it. Enjoy the video. Here we have the uh, wireless receiver box. Uh, so this is uh, Macklin uh, 60117. Let's uh, check out what's inside the box. What do we actually get with the box? So I see the first thing we have here is the manual. Talking about how to connect it. Stop, go, green light. We can connect it to the uh, central station and directly to the uh, connector box as well. We got information in several languages. Let's see if there's some English here somewhere. Anything interesting to see? Actually, I didn't see the English. Okay. But at least we got a manual here. Oh, I see. Oh, this is the Danish. I understand Danish. It says something about what to remember before first time use. So let me uh, check that out and then show you what it is. There's a warranty card. Always good to have. And then we have the uh, box itself. So we have it here. So it's 60117. I see uh, that the wire is uh, um, wound up here and there's a protector here, uh, which is a good idea. This is one of the type of connectors where I broke a pin on my mobile station two once. And then we have two screws. I guess that's so you can see there's a hole here in the connector box and here. So that's probably so you can hang it, maybe even on the wall, since it is a Wi-Fi device. Cool. Let's uh, try it out. So I looked in the uh, manual. The first time used basically talked about uh, operating temperatures and so on, and it's for indoor use. So there wasn't anything special to take care of. So here we have a setup where I have uh, the uh, mobile station 2 down here and the uh, connector box for the mobile station 2. I connected it all to a wire. You can see no power is on. So then we have our um, wireless uh, connector box here. So we want to connect that one. So let's uh, free the wire first. We got that here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll plug it in and then see uh, what happens. So we have also here the uh, the connector, all right, and uh, this is the uh, standard uh, mobile station 2 connector. You can see there's a lot of pins, and there's something that's a little different up here. Is that easy to see? So you can see up here there's something that's a little different. Um, what's a little different is if we look here at the connector, you can see there's something up here. So basically, and it's also the flat side here up, and we plug it in. In this case, I'm plugging it in as in the second one here. And now we have it here. And then 
We can turn it on and let's try and look at the uh, lamp here while we're turning it on. Oh, I got lots of wires wriggling around. All right, so let's try and turn it on. It's turned on and let's see what happens. You see it goes red here. And the reason I'm interested in seeing what happens is it said in the manual, sometimes uh, during a turn on, this one will start to blink. So you're not supposed to turn it off uh, when it's uh, it's turn when this one is blinking. So be aware of that. I see I have my mobile station on now. So everything is on. All right. Excellent. Let's uh, find our wireless mobile station now. Now let's uh, connect the wireless mobile station. Uh, so we have the uh, wireless mobile station here. Uh, and you can see it's not connected to anything. We want to connect it to the wireless connector box. So we hit shift and then accessories, which is the turnout. And now we get into the settings for the mobile station. Remember, you can use the buttons over here to the side to move up and down. Uh, what you need to find is the one that says WLAN settings or VLAN settings. You select the button next to it. And now you're in here in this sub menu where you can say seek for VLAN. We hit the uh, the button next to it to seek for VLAN, it find all the wireless networks. We scroll down and what you can see here is there's a wireless network called Macklin uh, WLAN or VLAN box. Uh, so this is the wireless connector box and with the serial number, we connect uh, by clicking next to it. And now you can enter the uh, password and you do that by uh, basically holding shift in and then you uh, turn the knob, you see that and then you need to enter the password. The default password is Macklin 160. So you see there's an M now. I took the M, I released the button here, and now I can go up and go to the next character. You see the, there's an arrow next to it here. I can go backwards over here and forwards there. And then I want to select the A. That's here. And you can continue like this. Uh, I prefer to use the keyboard up here, but you can see more about this in the video um, uh, about the mobile station too. But in essence, over here, you go up and down in the key and you use uh, shift and the shift um, and the button to rotate. And then you can hit shift and then you see I press the button here and then it actually selects it. So Macklin with an AE and then we need a R. We have that here, and then we need a K, okay, and then an L, okay, and I, and then N. So that's the Macklin part. You see that Macklin with an AE. Now we need 160. Not quite sure why 160. Um, wonder if it's the amount of years they've been around. Don't know. Uh, 160 there and now I'm ready to connect and you can see there's a check mark down here I have Macklin 160 with an AE and then I can hit the check mark and then it says connecting I need to wait that's fine let's see if it connects to the uh, connector box it says connection failed huh. weird Okay, so you see here it says Macklin 160. I did it wrong before, so we try again. We hit the check mark. It tries connecting. All right. And now we uh, should be uh, connected. Um, we see down here, this uh, one on the connector box is red. So we can try and take it out of stop mode. You can see it's in stop mode. By the way, I do have a locomotive down here. So as soon as I, I don't know if I can do that here. Well, I think the interesting part is to look at the red button. I go out of stop mode, you see it turns green. So actually now I know I'm connected, right? Now the interesting part is if it's uh, gonna connect uh, to my locomotive over here. It's an MFX, so I would actually expect it uh, to uh, connect directly. And you can see here, it connects uh, directly to my uh, uh, wireless uh, mobile station here. And remember now I'm not going over Wi-Fi. 
uh, at all. I'm just connecting uh, directly to the uh, connector box we have here. And you see it's still green. We're still waiting for the locomotive to be uh, loaded. I guess we need a little patience uh, for that. Here we have the locomotive. And uh, don't forget the way you use it is you hit the buttons next to it. So there's a horn here. So let's see. And you can see we actually have a connection. And by the way, I also still have my uh, mobile station too, uh, the wired one. And you can see here it actually loaded uh, the same one at the same time. And uh, you see this is my wired, wired one. And again with this one, I can also do it. So what is cool here is I can use both my wireless and um, my uh, standard mobile station uh, two here at the same time. Uh, you can actually have four uh, wireless mobile station twos uh, connected to the uh, connector box while you still have a mobile station two here. So that gives you a lot of freedom. By the way, you don't need your uh, mobile station two, the wired one. You see here I have the connector box. I pulled out the uh, mobile station two. I still have the wire here to the uh, wireless connector box. I can go back to my uh, uh, wireless mobile station two, and now I can actually use it uh, without uh, the uh, wireless mobile station, so you don't need to have that one around. Uh, we go back in here to check if we have a connection. So shift and settings. And then I go down and I select the VLAN. And why am I, by the way, doing that? Because if um, uh, when the uh, connector box is uh, turned off, uh, which it is now, you see there's no light in it here. So since I don't have my wireless mobile station, it's hard to see. So you need to go to your wireless connector box and see there's light. There's no light. Uh, but when um, what the wireless mobile station do, if it can't find the connector box, it'll find something else. And in this case, I already have it connected to my uh, um, central station tree or my own uh, wireless network. So it will actually go to that. So you can see here, it is actually connected. So in this case, now I want to turn on the wireless uh, connector box or the layout. And you can see now this one here is red. Um, so how do I get back to my other network? Well, I go back into the Seek uh, VLAN and I select my, uh, um, yeah, let me just make sure you saw that. I go into my Seek for VLAN and then I go into my Macklin VLAN box here and you can see it remembers the password. So I just had to hit the check mark and now uh, we have uh, it connecting to it again. And now I'm actually uh, connected to the, uh, to the uh, wireless co connector box again here. And you can see when I take it out of stop mode, it turns green. And then um, I think it, uh, yeah, unfortunately I deleted my locomotive. Uh, so that means uh, it, I have to wait for this one uh, to load again. Actually, I think the locomotive was on the other mobile station because the mobile station goes in a master slave uh, uh, mode. Uh, so it's actually one that has all the uh, uh, the database of locomotives and the others take it from it. And it, if I remember right, it's the one with the lowest serial number, which would be the wireless I've had because I've had that for a long time. So now we're waiting uh, for this one to actually uh, connect to the uh, locomotive again. And it's MFX. And yes, sometimes you actually have to be patient. Now, if it uh, takes too long to load the MFX, or if you see that uh, for some reason it doesn't happen, you can go into, uh, so you find an empty spot on the mobile station, you hit shift and locomotive, and then you scroll down, and here's a find if you use that one. Uh, oh, actually it says it has already started trying to uh, register it, but otherwise it would actually go in here and seek for both uh, locomotives on there and MFX locomotives. And you can see it's actually loading now. And again, I have no wired here. So this also proves that I can actually use it uh, even uh, without like my wireless uh, on my wired mobile station. I have my locomotive here now. And again, I can check by using the sound. Excellent. So the uh, wireless receiver box we have over here can also be used with the uh, central station tree. What does that mean? That means basically that the, um, the, the uh, uh, wireless uh, mobile station can connect directly to the uh, 
uh, VLAN receiver box or the wireless receiver box, which then is plugged into the CS3. So this means you don't have to have a network at home in order to do this. Um, this type of configuration you'll probably uh, find less often because typically everybody has a wireless network nowadays, but it's still handy to have. So how do we do this? Well, you basically take and plug in uh, the uh, wireless uh, receiver box. And remember, this one basically plugs in any place a mobile station uh, plugs in. And where is that on the uh, central station tree? Well, on the central station tree, that's actually here in front. So there's two uh, connectors here in front. You can see there's something uh, on the bottom side here. Um, and you can connect to any of these two. Uh, you have the uh, uh, connection here and you can see there's something here towards, well, to the bottom now where it's flat as well on the connector. Can you see that? And that means that actually has to be turned down. So we connect it into the CS3 here and then we can basically uh, start up the uh, central station tree. So let me go ahead and turn that on. All right, now you can see the uh, central station tree is uh, started up and we go look at our wireless connector box. It's red now, which uh, also uh, you can see on the central station tree, it's in stop mode. So basically uh, now we are ready to uh, connect the uh, wireless uh, mobile station. Oh, by the way, it doesn't matter if it's in stop mode or not, you can, you can connect the wireless uh, mobile station. Okay, so now I want to connect my uh, wireless mobile station to the uh, wireless receiver box. And by the way, this doesn't matter how the wireless receiver box is connected. Is it connected to the central station tree or is it connected to the uh, control box together with a mobile station uh, too? Doesn't matter, you have to do this in the same way. So we basically need to connect the wireless mobile station to the wireless uh, receiver box. And then you see the tick box down here. I can hit the tick box. It's connecting. Let's see if it connects. All right. And now we are connected. And um, we um, see right now we're actually on the central station here, but it doesn't really matter. So I can hit here. You see we're in stop mode. I can go out of stop mode. And you see the central station tree. Now we are out of the stop mode. Um, now remember, since this is a secondary and we're connected to a, a central station tree, uh, in order to get my locomotives, I, they are not immediately available, but I hit shift and then locomotive, and then I can say from the locomotive list, and from here I can choose among the locomotives that the central station knows of, so I hit this one here because I want it, and then you can see I got my locomotive here, and uh, just to prove that I actually have a connection to my train down there, I use the horn. And you can see it works. Most excellent. Um, in addition to that, when you're on the central station tree, you can actually see uh, uh, the, both the wireless uh, receiver box and the wireless uh, mobile station too. How do you do that? Well, you go to the top, you pull down the green tab. If this is not visible, you go into system. Uh, now you see I'm already in a menu, so I can go out. And when you see this page, you can hit system. I actually came back the same place, but it could be that you were somewhere else. And now you can actually see down here, it both says uh, mobile station two, and it says uh, Wika wireless something. If we click on the uh, wireless here, you can see this is actually 60112 or 117. So this was wireless receiver box. Uh, you can go down here and you can actually set some settings on it here. You can hear under the locomotives, you can see here you can remove locomotives that it needs to know about that it passes on to the wireless mo mobile station, or you can add it again. Unfortunately, I only got one uh, locomotive on the track right now. So here you can see I added it again. So this is the way you can add and remove locomotives to the uh, wireless receiver box. In addition to that, you can hear on the mobile station too, you can see my MS2-1 is actually my wireless. I can recognize it on the item number here. And you can also go in here and see the settings. So you could change the name if you wanted to. 
If we uh, look at the uh, wireless receiver box and then we uh, look at the uh, status button here. So now you can see uh, this one is green, which means it's in, um, uh, you can run on your layout. Um, if you uh, take your wireless uh, mobile station here and you can see now I hit the stop button, you go over here and see now it's stopped. Um, let me just uh, turn on the sound. So now you can hear the sound on the layout. Um, when, when I hit the start button here, you can see it turns red, the sound went off. When it goes green, the sound goes back on again. But the handy thing is this one here is actually also a button. So I can press it and then you can see it turns red and then I can press it again and then it uh, turns green and the layout is on. So in this way, there's a handy, easy way to see what is the status of your layout. And there's a handy, easy way for you to actually uh, turn your layout on and off if you can reach this button here. There are two other uh, modes uh, for this one here. Uh, one is blinking red, which I have never seen. When it's blinking red, it's doing something and you're supposed to not turn it off. And then the final one is if it blinks between green and red, that it does during the firmware update. And again, you should not turn it off. So in essence, you should only turn off the power to your layout when the uh, wireless receiver box is either constant green or constant red. Oh, by the way, there's one more mode that you can briefly see. That's when your device connects, it will actually blink green uh, for just a couple of seconds, uh, indicating that you actually succeeded. So if you're fiddling with things, you can also look at this one here. So uh, the um, wireless receiver box also have a um, web page. How do you get to that? Well, as you can see now, I'm actually on the Macklin page, which I mean that I'm on the uh, internet. But you actually need to connect directly to the uh, wireless receiver box. How do you do that? Well, you go and change your uh, Wi-Fi. So mine is here in the taskbar. Uh, and then I can go in and select another Wi-Fi network. And here you can see I have all the networks and I got one called Macklin WLAN Box 776. So that's my wireless box. Uh, this may or may not look uh, the same on your computer. You can do this, by the way, from a tablet or a cell phone or whatever you like to. So we uh, connect uh, to this one here. Um, I don't want it by default to connect there. I only want to connect there when I choose to. So I hit connect here and then you can see it needs a network key. Uh, it's the same as we've been using for the uh, wireless mobile station. So it's Merklin with an AE and 160. So M-A-E-R-K-L-I-N-1-6-0. All right, we hit next. And then we uh, wait uh, patiently. Oh, it's already connected. Then we uh, go and uh, open a new tab. And then we go to uh, 192.168.160.1. So you need to type in this address here. And then you can hit enter. And then you can see it will actually um, show the web page of the uh, Macklin uh, wireless uh, receiver box here and you see what the status is uh, that it's actually providing its own uh, um, network and we have connected to it here at the bottom you can see there's a couple of uh, interesting uh, different types of things we can do if i hit on the first one here this is where i configure such that i can use the um, yeah, I don't remember what it's called. Basically, the uh, handle that comes in the starter, you can choose which channel goes to which address. So this is much more flexible than what you will see if you're just using uh, the handle itself. You can configure it here to uh, whatever you want and to whatever address. You hit save. Uh, by the way, I didn't um, succeed in making this work, but uh, I will try out again later. And if it works, I will uh, issue a video on this. You can go down here on the network button. This is where you can also change the password. You can change the Wi-Fi channel if you want, or the name of the uh, Wi-Fi settings. Uh, you also have down here a settings button. 
and uh, here in the settings you can see I can find I can change the language if I want to uh, there's some information here as well uh, here are some error codes as well uh, so these error codes here may be useful when you're doing updates or if the uh, if you at some point in time see an error code from the uh, wireless uh, receiver box uh, and then there's a note of thanks down here by the way the button you see here that uh, kind of looks like a stop button but it really is is the home button so you, if you hit this one it will go back to the front page uh, of the little uh, web page here all right it turns out that the uh, wireless uh, receiver box is actually really really useful um, and as I said in the beginning of the video think of this basically as your wire for your wireless mobile station so you connect it, um, or what we did in the video was we uh, connected the uh, uh, wireless mobile station directly to the, uh, to the wireless receiver box. What we had to do was to find the correct network. It was called Merklin VLAN receiver, I think, or something like that. Um, and then you uh, connect your wireless uh, mobile station directly to it. You remember the default password is Macklin 160 with an AE and then it connects directly to it. I must admit, once in a while I see a glitch so it doesn't connect the first time. So try again if you didn't succeed the first time. It could be wrong password, but it could also just be a glitch. The uh, wireless receiver box uh, also has a little status light here. Uh, it's even a button, this light, so you can actually click on it. So if you click on it, it changes between uh, stop uh, mode or go. So it will change between uh, red and green. Um, I've never seen it myself, but your manual says sometimes it will blink red. If that happens, do not turn off the device. I have actually not seen that. It was mentioned as when you start up the device, uh, that will happen. I did not see it. Uh, then um, it will also uh, uh, blink green when it is such that a device is connecting, but I will only do it very shortly. And then it will change between green and red uh, when it's updating the device as well. And in that case, do not uh, disconnect it. So the handy thing is that this wire here essentially is the same plug that is in the uh, uh, mobile station 2 as well so it means we can connect it directly to a control box you can use any of the plugs here you can use it with or without the mobile station um, as well so you can use your wireless uh, mobile station on your layout with just the wireless control box you can also uh, connect your wireless uh, receiver box directly into the uh, central station 3 as well uh, and that way you can connect your wireless uh, mobile station directly to the central station tree without the need of a network. And finally, one second, you also, you also have the uh, control power stick from Macklin, so the one that uses an infrared sensor. You're supposed to be able to use that with this box as well. I must admit, I did not have a great success. So the wireless control box has a, has a stop button here. I immediately saw it react here, uh, going green or red, depending on whether or not you went into stop mode or not. But I didn't have too much success uh, controlling the train. I'm not sure what I did wrong. If you guys have an idea, please uh, put it in the uh, description below. Uh, and then we, I may actually do a video in the future. So I really hope uh, you liked this video. I really uh, hope uh, you learned something as well. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and a like. Uh, don't forget to turn on the little notification bell as well uh, on the videos. Please do subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified about upcoming videos. Enjoy!